Hey, uh, did you hear about those spoilers? The spoilers. Did you hear about the spoilers? Hold on, I got a text. It's about spoilers. Um, I'll, let me check Twitter. Oh, my mentions. It's about spoilers. Crap, text message. Rudy, what does Rudy want? It's about spoilers. Ah, ah, spoilers! Anyway, we have some Modern Masters 2017 spoilers coming out today, and yeah, Zooks, um, a little bit of what was expected, and a little bit of what wasn't expected. Now, of course, my channel does not cover spoilers, because, I mean, there's a million websites on the internet that can post them. However, I feel like when there's something of note reprinted, I'm going to try to cover it for you. So I'm going to hop on over to a couple of spoilers that I find noteworthy from today, and I'm hoping that uh, we will, of course, find some spiciness. Now I'm gonna hop on over to my presentation. Look at how pro this is. I mean, you definitely want to back me on Patreon now because look at this high-end graphic. There really is no other place on the entire internet where you can get something this crisp and this clean. So let's get right into um, the uh, spoilerinos. And first we have what is actually a pretty cool uh, three color cycle of lands. The Savage Lands, Crumbling Necropolis, Jungle Shrine, Arcane Sanctum, and Seaside Citadel. Probably all first pickable in the draft format as we see a lot of land love coming from Ravnica into this set. I'm very excited about these lands. I think foil versions will get EDH players pretty pumped up. And it's definitely a sign of what to expect in draft. Then we have, of course, the Guild Gates. All 10 Guild Gates coming back uh, in this format. I don't think we're going to see Maze's End. I don't think you're going to be able to win Modern Masters draft formats or uh, sealed events with a Maze's End. But nonetheless, more Fixing now this two color fixing is at common so you have three color fixing and uncommon two color fixing at common And we also have some more fixing later that I want to talk about but of course this video will have surprises Throughout so you're not gonna want to miss anything You're gonna watch every commercial from beginning to end and then you're gonna go back on patreon because you were so surprised and so shocked all the way through this video now let's get to something a tad more spicy. Muy caliente. Well, it's kind of caliente. We have Damnation reprint. I think I talked to a few people today about Damnation. Obviously, people are very excited. I think Damnation is a card that they needed to reprint in a Masters type set or an EDH deck. And we finally have it here. This is a very expensive card. Um, I think Modern Masters versions of this card will probably be in the sub $20 range pretty quickly um, with the originals not getting hurt that badly. Uh, Wizards has always maintained that this card is not played that much and it's always been kind of this uh, pet peeve or uh, you know, us Magic players are always whining to reprint Damnation and they never do because they say there's not enough people that play it. And so when they spoiled it today, I think they spoiled it just how I would, with one word, saying, fine. And here's the Damnation reprint. Good on you, Wizards. Thank you for finally answering the call. It only took you 10 years. Now we have, let's turn up the heat a little bit more. Here we have Goblin Guy. This one was uh, spoiled by fellow YouTuber, Tolarian Community College. I remember when I got spoil spoilers. Those were the days. Uh, here we have a new art for Goblin Guide. Surprises nobody. Just like uh, this art was floating around the internet, along with the speculation about the box art being Snapcaster Mage. I don't expect any surprises. I expect to see Snapcaster Mage as well as Goblin Guide. The important thing here, as with Damnation, they were both printed at rare and not mythic. 
So <laughs> they will be prevalent in draft, which is one re one interesting thing. And in terms of af affecting long-term prices or the prices of these cards, it will have a significantly strong effect. Goblin Guide, Damnation, similar, similar effects like Wasteland or Noble Hierarch, which is both cards are going back up again. But seeing these at rare, thank you, Wizards, for not going bananas and moving them to Mythic. Now, next up on the spoiler list. Now, I'm not talking, I'm not going to talk about every little spoiler. I'm going to talk about the spoilers that will shake your plums. Those plums might be inside or outside, or you may not even have plums, but if you had plums, they would be shaking. Next up is, of course, all of the enemy fetch lands. Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Verdant Catacombs, Scalding Tarn, Misty Rainforest, all at rare. Now, I don't know if they officially spoil Misty Rainforest or not, or if I just grabbed the wrong art here, but of course they're going to have Misty Rainforest along with Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Verdant Catacombs, and Scalding Tarn. Here's an important thing, and I talked to a couple other people today as the spoilers were rolling out. What does this mean? Well, this means that the EV, at least on launch day, of these Modern Masters booster boxes is going to be a lot more palatable. And what we saw was an in almost immediate jump from Modern Masters 2017 booster boxes selling all day long for about 180 on eBay to creeping up to close to 200. Now, I think there are other spoiler spoilers that are built into that price already. Obviously, things like Snapcaster Mage, and I actually think Liliana may be pre-built into that price in terms of how people are pricing things. I think we all expect to see her in the set. If we don't, that would be a colossal, uh, colossal mistake, I believe, by Wizards of the Coast. It will put a negative aura around the whole set, which, as it stands now, is looking pretty good. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to tell you to do what you all think I'm going to do. Just flip out, man. It's cooler at rare. But remember, if you want to pick these up, wait a few weeks and buy the singles, okay? This set is printing into oblivion. I personally know people who have between 500 and 1,000 boxes on order already, okay? These are not even local game stores. So... And if you look at what some of the eBay sellers are, some of the big eBay sellers, they're up into the four, five, six hundred boxes already on pre-order. Modern Masters 2017 will be out there and never forget what they did in Eternal Masters where they magically released more at the end of the year. Now, what does this all mean? It means these enemy fetch lands are going to be more affordable. It also begs the question of... Did Wizards make this decision to include the fetch lands based around what they saw with the standard format the last time they had fetches when they were in Kanzatar Kier? Maybe Wizards doesn't want to see fetch lands in standard ever again. Uh, I don't know what that means. I mean, that's a speculation, but uh, certainly I think a strong one that other people also share. The other thing worth considering here, and uh, when I was talking to a few people, some mass box openers and things like that. And they've actually said that they're going to do mass box openings of this set. They're going to make sure they open it and sell it all before it tanks. Because remember, distributor pricing on these boxes is less than $140. So they're picking these up for $137, $138, and, they're flip and they can open up three fetch lands and everything else is just the gravy train with biscuit wheels nonetheless. So be careful. Uh, a lot of people are blowing up my inbox, blowing up my text messages, blowing up my Twitter, Facebook, asking if they should jump in. And there's a bit of a panic. There's a bit of a rush on Modern Masters 2017 on eBay. Now, the prices are already up to $200. And the more I think about it, I think we're going to approach MSRP. If Liliana, if Liliana's in the set, I think these boxes will be up to 220 uh, as long as Snapcaster comes out as, a, as expected, I don't expect that to change. Um, we have a couple Mythics left to see, but if they also put, include any Chase Uncommons, the kind of Uncommons like they did in Conspiracy where foil versions of Commons and Uncommons are $40, $50, $60, if they include a couple of those where we can get 
a strong chance at pulling a foil version. Remember, there'll be a foil in every pack. So a lot of times with Conspiracy, I remember opening foil brainstorms early on when they were like 75 bucks and basically paying for the entire box. So I'm going to tell all of you what I've told probably about 50 people individually via uh, email or whatever else. Don't freak out. I don't think you're going to make any money investing in Modern Masters 2017 and sitting on it. Is it better than 2015? I would say probably. You know, we're going to have to see, you know, if they omit Liliana and the Mythics are duds, then it's probably questionable. But remember, Wizards saw how much Concertar here sold. Wizards knows why Concertar here sold as well as it did, and it was because of the fetch lands. There's no way, there's two scenarios, okay? One scenario is that they're still going to put these fetch lands in like Amonkhet or something like that. That's possible. I would give that maybe a 10 to 15% chance based on what I'm talking to in my own breakdown of Wizards habits. What I think is more likely is they said, well, if we put fetch lands in Modern Masters, it will sell like crazy and we get to charge $8 a pack. Or they're charging LGS as 140 a pack, so that's 140 a box. So that's how they look at it. Now remember, I wouldn't expect to see four or five of these in a box either, because you're going to have only 24 packs. So you're only going to find one, maybe two, if you're lucky, three fetch lands in a booster box. That's great, great. I'm very happy to see these spoilers. But again, be careful with your money. If you can get a box for under MSRP, I think now that we've seen the fetch lands, you're probably safe to do so. But I wouldn't go crazy buying this set. And also, I want to put a consumer warning out there or an advocacy. If anybody cancels your pre-order over this set, I want you to direct message me or email me their name, their, their company name. Because I'm going to keep a list, a public list of anybody who took pre-orders from Modern Masters and then canceled on the customers. And that will be a fun little rant video later. So I hope you enjoyed these spoilers. I can't promise I'll always do them, but I definitely had fun covering the muy caliente spoilers from today.